I don't do declare they are using up all of my internet up here in Gigantic. Um, I apologize, guys, about the lag. Um, it, we are dropping a build internally. So what that means is all 100 computers uh, get this build, and everything slows down. And we have, I'm on a different uh, port, and I was supposed to be lag-free. But... Yeah, that didn't happen. So that's okay. That's okay, guys. So I again, I apologize for the drop frames. We are dropping them like they're hot. So and I, I apologize, but it's just something that happens at a video game studio. Who would have thought a hundred people downloading this internal build would have caused problems? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. But that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. It's good to see you guys. We have an exciting day today at Gigantic. Oh. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, man. So, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge D&D &D fan. In fact, you know, just on a little tidbit, we have somebody famous for D&D &D here, and he's going to be on stream. And he's been on stream before, but uh, I was perusing at my local D&D &D shop, and I saw this guy's name there, and I was like, wait a second. I know that guy. He works right next to me. And I went up to him and was like, you never told me you're famous, but... I digress. So we're going to have a great stream today, guys. In fact, we're going to be making a character from start to finish, uh, and it's called A Hero's Tale There and Back Again. Uh, we thought it would be a cool idea to give you guys the opportunity to kind of see how a character is made internally. So, uh, when pay, <laughs> press F to pay respects. To, oh, no, the F. Uh, anyways, we thought it'd be really cool internally to show you the process of how a hero is made. So, we went on our Facebook, our Reddit, our Twitter, and posed the question, uh, you know, if you guys had a hero, what would it be? And so the progress that we did was uh, kind of like Imani the Sniper, and the name kind of had a little bit of an essence of the character. We had over 115 entries for characters. We all compiled it to here, and we had all the developers vote on them. So now I have the top 20 names from you guys, the community, and we're going to be making uh, probably three or four characters today. It's going to be amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, Devil's PC, good to see you, my friend. Oh, yeah. Um, so the characters, again, like we got, we got them from Reddit, we got them from Facebook, Twitter, all these characters' names. Uh, it's provided by you, the community. We uh, yelled at each other. We got to laugh at a bunch of your guys' uh, you know, collections that you guys made, your entries. We're like, that is the best. Uh, we have one that in particular that you guys are going to like. So uh, we're about to start the voting process very, very soon. In fact, uh, if we can have my mods throw up that straw poll in chat. And the best thing about this part is that our our senior writer, David Noonan, and Vinod, who's going to be drawing this concept artist, have not seen these names at all. I have not seen these names at all. It's so great. I'm excited to see you too. How you doing, buddy? Uh, they have not had even an inkling. So they're going into this absolutely dark. And so at the end of today, we're going to come up with something either amazing or really bad. And knowing Twitch chat and how troll you are, it could probably be, there's a very, very high chance it could be very, very bad. But I'm excited. I'm super excited. Yeah, Joe Griff, uh, right now we're downloading a prop uh, internally. So yeah, uh, that's why you guys are going to drop a little bit of our frames. So that sucks. I apologize for that. But it's going to be great. There's the straw poll, guys. Go ahead and vote on the, your top uh, heroes. And the top four is what we're going to be doing today. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I am super, super, super excited, guys. Go ahead and vote. Vote, 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 vote. <gasps> Go ahead and vote, guys. I don't have I don't have those straw poll in front of me. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. I, I, I need the straw poll. Oh, there it is. All right, guys. Go ahead and vote uh, on the top. Uh, we'll take the top four. We're gonna be taking the top four today. We're gonna kind of in the spirit of telephone the game. You know, an idea starts with something, then it kind of goes on. That's what's gonna happen today. We're gonna take the top four. Uh, we're gonna have Dave Noonan on stream, famous for his D and D. We're gonna make up this lore kind of about these characters, and then after we get the top four, we're gonna vote to the top three. After we get the top three, Vinod's going to come on, draw the three heroes. Uh, very, very small, very small sketches. And then after that, we're going to vote again into the first place. In the first place, Vinod's going to sit down, talk with chat, and really kind of flesh out this character from the very beginning. But get, out those, get those votes in, guys. Let's see who the top four heroes of, from the community is going to be. What's up, Pyro? Good to see you, my friend. None of mine made it. No, Malcor. I think your genie made it. Poop stick. Thanks for following me, buddy. <laughs> nice. What a what a name. Yeah, yeah. We do. Oh no. I, I know, guys. If your if your thing didn't make it, blame blame gigantic. Blame Otiga. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun stream, Dan. This is gonna be a very very fun stream. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna come out of the stream. Regardless, uh, knowing Twitch chat and all the troll excitements, it's probably gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. So what is going on with it? Uh oh, we got Pelican the Boost in first place. Artos the Bard. Ooh, that's cool. I like that one. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Nice. Maximilian the Mad kind of going up there. All right, all right. Winley the Storm Empress. Like it. I like it. Keep voting, guys. Keep voting. 
I fu I fully just picked my nose. <laughs> well, so much monsters. That's that's. Thank you for being honest with us. All right, guys, keep getting the votes in. Keep getting the votes in. You know, top four characters are what we're gonna kind of kind of mess with. We're gonna make up lore behind them, and then again, like the process, we're gonna bring it on over to Vinod, and Vinod on stream is gonna kind of draw. Them. So be great. Ah, oh, everybody wants to see Pelican. Oh yeah. Hey, Casavine, how are you? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, bud. Uh oh, Artos the Artos the Bard. Uh oh. Pelican the booze. This is gonna be so funny because uh, we can't we, sh we can't be too loud because Noonan's not gonna uh, know what he's gonna be uh, making back lore for. It's gonna be great. Keep. <laughs> What's up, PZ King? Good to see everybody here. Good to see. You. Make sure you guys get your votes in. I see a big potato. What's going on, Mario? Two hundred and eleven votes so far, guys. Keep going up. We got we got some more votes. Come on, come on, guys. Oh yeah. Uh, did you MLG no scope? We did MLG no scope today at the studio. Pelican the booze. Hey, Rickonara, good to see you, buddy. Oh, we do need. Yeah, I really want to see the. I really, really, really want to see the Pirate King too. I'm actually surprised the Pirate King is not in there because I think a pirate. I mean, come on, we need. We need a Pirate King. Is number eight? The Pirate King is number eight. I am completely bamboozled because the Pirate King. I had the most vo votes in the studio. The sculptor. Oh yeah, Trinity Lord. Maybe call it Renzo. It'll be great. <sighs> All right. How is Alfredo the Saucer not number one? I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. It's Twitch chat, not me. I'm not voting. Look, my hands are off. It's all community. It's all community right here, with boys and girls. I'm so excited to see what the community comes up with today. And who knows? Who knows? My uh, plans after we have the final character uh, voted on and worked on by you guys today, um, I'm going to beg the rest of the artists in the studio, like come do them, be like, please, artists. Make it beautiful. So we'll see. Who knows? In the next couple of weeks, we might see this character pop up again in maybe the forums or something crazy. So it'll be fun. What is this? Steel Sting says. Uh, so I reminded you on it. I will. Rick and R. I'll check it out. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Pelican the salty. Pelican the boozy. Uh oh. Winley the, the storm emperor is coming in a close second though. Nice, nice, nice. Got some pretty good choice up there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the Pirate King's number five. It's coming up. Pirate King needs one more vote to get in number four, guys. Can we make the Pirate King happen? I really, really uh, want that Pirate King to be up there. So we'll give you guys a couple more minutes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Malice. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Nope. We can uh, vote for the top four, guys. Top four. It's very, very close. It needs two more in there. So how you guys been? I haven't seen you guys for a whole entire week. I've missed you. Everything at the office has been absolutely crazy here. Uh, a lot of people getting hard to work. You know, we got E3 coming up. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. We've got a great show for E3 coming up. Everybody's just, yeah, knows the, uh, knows the grindstone, as they like to call it. Uh, but, but today, today it's all about you guys. And that's what really gets me excited. You know, it's funny. Allie is actually behind me. She and I were sitting down kind of talking about ideas for the stream. And, like, we kind of looked at each other. And we had this moment. I was like, what if the community came up with a hero? And we both looked at each other like, eh! Yeah, let's go with it. Let's just let's just go with it and see what happens. So that's that's what the stream's all about, guys. And we have some of the best developers to be working on today for your pleasure. So I'm excited. Oh yeah, I miss you too, Livy Data. A lot of people are getting hard. I mean, I don't want to put a name on it, but uh, all right. So number one, Pelican Naboo still holding that number one spot. We got Willing the Storm Empress number two. My Illusion is still holding out. Still hold. I mean, Revlar's trying, but he just can't get it. He's one vote off, guys. Uh, we're going to give it, what time is it? Uh, 3.19. We'll give it to 3.23. That sounds like a good number. Almost there, guys. <laughs> Why are those statues in the back? That's actually a really good point. Uh, those statues are made by... Uh, <laughs> we've got a good story for those statues, actually. <laughs> well, we may tell that another time when I have Joe pick up on here. What a great guy. Oh, yeah. Thor also. There was a guy looking like him that called him Thor also. Huh. Put the character in the game? Uh, I think that's probably a little too much. Um, however, if we fall in love with this character, who knows? I mean, who knows? I, I don't know. I'm not here to say it. This is gonna, only going to be a mock character creation. But if we like it, if we just strike gold, who knows? Maybe I'll just throw thousands of dollars at Chris Chung and be like, just just do it. Just please. So I don't know. I don't know. It could be fun, though. It could be fun. <sighs> we need to shoot down the boozy avian peeps. I'm thinking of like a really drunk guy, like a fisherman. I don't know. I mean, Noon and I are going to jump on stream and really talk about the top four characters and really kind of delve into this backstory. We're going to have the backstory actually come from you guys as well. I will be kind of being that uh, intermediary between David Noon and I, and we're going to make back lore for all these four characters. Hello, Cat Dragon. Name, Drose. Dad Jokes to Ma. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, my friend. All right, guys, we have exactly three more minutes for voting. Uh, Revlar is trying his best, but he just can't do it. 
but we have four pretty top solid ones. I'm excited. I'm excited where it happens. And by the way, guys, I can't start the stream without actually highlighting somebody in our community. That's absolutely freaking fantastic. Epic Punum uh, made a character design that was on our Reddit. That's absolutely fantastic. One of our mods can actually link that in stream. Um, so everybody, like, a lot of people come up with hero designs, and they look really awesome, really cool. But sometimes a certain somebody will go above and beyond the call and make gifts or, like, really go into their backstory. And me, I'm a huge lore guy. And when I got to read Epic Punum's uh, character idea on our Reddit, I was like, you're a wizard. It looks amazing. So if we have one of our mods, actually link that in our stream right now. And that way, give everybody kind of a little teaser. That's the kind of thing we're going to do today. And it's just absolutely fantastic. So huge shout out to you, Epic Punum, because it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Are there any plans for flying gods? I, I like flying. I like gods. So maybe. When is the poll done? Uh, in two minutes. Uh-oh. The Pirate King. The Pirate King is back, ladies and gentlemen. Number three. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Winley the Storm Empress. All right. What did you do? Oh, man. Looking good. Uh-oh. There it is. Reddit. There we go. Thank you very much, Lorne Rem. Lord Basil Lorne Rem. Yeah. You're a wizard head. Pretty much. Pretty much. Absolutely amazing. So it just... Absolutely amazing. Alfredo for life. I'm actually surprised the trolls of our Twitch aren't making Alfredo the Sorceress higher. I am praising the sun over here because making a backstory for that character. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. The I love pirates. I love pirates and I love treasure chests and I love booty. So <laughs> there you have it, Twitch chat. <laughs> I, I, I feel like the pirates should be up there. Oh, man. There, thank you very much for the follow, guys. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate it. Welcome to the family. Gigantic family. Pelican the booze is a, 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 a dead now following. Thank you very much for following, buddy. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the family. Uh, <laughs> I vote for Alfredo. Oh gosh, you bad little kittens. You've lost your mints. All right, we have exactly. We're done. We're done. Okay, cut it. Cut it now. Top four. Oh man, Ardos the Bar just sneaks in there at the last second with 22 votes. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, the finalists as shown by straw poll is Pelican the Booze, the Winley the Storm Empress, Revlar the Pirate King, and Artos the Bard. All right, if I can get my moss to write that down and uh, confirm Thor likes. I like pirate booty. I mean, I don't. I can't get in trouble for that on Twitch. Uh, you can take that any way you want, but let me g go ahead and write this down, and guys, are you ready? Are you guys ready to make some back lore? Some back lore, front lore, side lore, who know lore? Oh, I'm excited. All right, all right. I got to give a little bit of a warm-up intro for our senior writer, David Noonan. So I'd, at the beginning of the stream, I kind of talked about a little bit about who David Noonan was, but I really didn't know who David Noonan was until I saw his name in the cover of a D&D &D book uh, and how amazing he is. So let's get David Noonan on here. Let's talk a little bit about what he is, and let's make some back lore for these characters. Then after that, guys, we're going to vote one more time. Uh, so we have the top three. Once we get the top three characters, we're going to have Nod, our senior uh, artist, on here to draw these characters, and then we're going to vote again, and then the top will be fleshed out in more detail. So I'm excited. I did. Oh, I'm excited. I know two people at 26. We we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that with the final one. So let's get David Newton on here. Let's talk a little bit about it. I've got to find a way for him to write down lore and backstory. So we'll go top. What? What do you want from me? Answer the allow multiple points. Um, no and no. So you're good. All right. Let's get him on here. All right, David. Let's do it, bud. I gotta get his. I gotta get his headset. One second, guys. All right. Let's get you your chair, my good sir. All right. All right, let me find you a headset. Ah, let's find him a headset. All right, let's see if that works. All right. Oh. Testing, testing. Oh, gosh, that's not comfortable for you at all. There it no, is. That's okay. As okay. long as I don't hang myself, I'm in good shape. All right, let's get the mic a little bit closer to your face. All right. all right, there it is. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Testing, one, two, three. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you fine. All right, so when I came, came to David Noonan with this idea for this stream, he was like, yes, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, so I need a piece of paper with these names. Can you write down the um, four names for me? To me? To me. Write down the four names for me, bud. And I'm going to give you this. All right, I'm going to give you that. Right, I still need the uh, names on my uh, lap. So let me just do this real fast, guys. I need to pull up a notepad. So David can start writing some lore on here. Oh, am I typing or am I talking? Um, I don't know. 
Do what? What do you want to do? Because we let's, can have we can have our scribes write down. Let's let's try uh, me talking and then someone else transcribing. That sounds a lot uh, better. That sounds a lot better. We have transcribes in the office. We have people that get paid for that. Let's do that. Well, yeah, because that way I have somebody to blame. And That's, oh, I like that. I like. <laughs> so that. when Vinod comes to me and says, "Dave, what did you tell them?" And I said, "Well, no, it wasn't me. I, man. Well, it was transcription uh, error. You know, <laughs> what can be done?" Nice, 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 nice. So, uh, Tally Poe, are you going to be on transcribing details? Yeah, transcribing details. Yeah, no, that's what, that's what you should be all about. <laughs> One second, guys. Oh, man, the Lord, the Lord God. He is the Lord God. <laughs> One second. <laughs> it's a minor deity right next to <sighs> deity for, like, firewood at the heart. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, let's talk a little bit about you. Uh, I do want to get somebody on the job of lore transcribing. I'm like looking around. It's like when you're in that group project in college, like you assign roles to people. I was <laughs> never the guy that wrote everything because my handwriting looked like straight up a heartbeat monitor. They're like, nope, you're not going to write down our lore. So uh, let's find somebody. What? No, what is this? This is like ancient Sumerian. Am I allowed to see this? No. Oh, yeah. Well, you can see it. Look at the, look at this handwriting. This is this is the yeah. Look. That doesn't help actually. This I, is I'm this is why Toby's an intern. Look at this I'm handwriting. Still spoiler free. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is this is Toomey's, This is what it, you can't really see it that well, but it is it is ancient Sumerian writing. So, all right. Let's see. Uh, they're arguing about <laughs> writing it down. Oh, all right. If not, I'll do it. All right, I'm gonna do it then. What? What? You're you're gonna. All right, I will transcribe. <sighs> okay, I will do it. I'm gonna transcribe okay. for you. Okay. Uh, you go. Like, you hold on to this. All right. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Mm, uh, I'm even gonna fold this up so I only see these one at a time. Gotcha. 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 Uh, I need. I need. Uh, I need Notepad. How do I find? Oh wait. You know what? Google Docs. I heard that's a thing in this computer. Yeah. Google yeah. Docs is like the. Oh, I should share the link with everybody. That's a good idea, Toomey. Uh, Toomey's on fire. You, you could, you could go. make, you could, yeah. you could make the argument that he just kind of redeemed himself. But that handwriting is pretty bad, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. You're trying to keep me spoiler free. I appreciate I, that. I like that. Uh, you know what? I need to switch to my other account because if everybody sees this, all the spoilers, <laughs> just all the spoilers. All so right, while Thor is uh, getting himself set up with the Google Doc. Uh, I'm going to explain what I'm going to try to do in terms of my process. <laughs> this, this could collapse as soon as I see the first name. We'll see. But uh, what I'm going to shoot for is when I think of the backstory for a hero, for Gigantic, it's important that it fit within the constellation of the existing heroes that we have in Gigantic, which if you're not playing the game, you can see on GoGigantic.com. So one of the things I want to do is make sure that there's not too much overlap with existing heroes. Uh, so that's something that's going to be in the back of my mind, and I might talk about that a little bit. The other thing that is related, uh, that's key for Gigantic, is... We have a lot of relationships among the heroes, but it's it doesn't boil down to simple friends and enemies because in any given gigantic match, you could have uh, the Margrave and Trip be allies or they could be on opposite teams. And so we have relationships, but all those relationships are a lot more nuanced and in the gray area, which as a writer, I love because that's frankly where the interesting stories get told. Indeed. Uh, but uh, so those are two things that are going to kind of be percolating in my head as I come up with uh, backstories for these new heroes. Oh, nice. So for the people just joining us here, who are you, David? Uh, I hear I, you're kind <laughs> of a big thing now. <laughs> I like. So I am new to the whole D and D thing. I read so many good fantasy books, but then I you I can't believe you're like famous for that. Yeah, I well, don't, you know, <laughs> I don't be bashful. <laughs> famous is a gross exaggeration. Infamous, notorious. I'd, I'd accept those adjectives. <laughs> uh, it, no, I uh, I'm the senior writer here at uh, Motiga. Uh, prior to um, working on uh, some MMOs and then being here at Motiga, I spent uh, the, the better part of a decade uh, designing uh, Dungeons and Dragons stuff uh, for the tabletop version of the game, and which was good fun. And uh, that's uh, and it still influences me in a lot and my world building and my character design. Uh, my character thinking in a lot of ways. Nice. All right. Everybody should be like, 
Thor, you are really bad at spelling when it comes to this lore. That's okay. So I am typing on a, uh, I don't even know what this would be, like a... It's a keyboard. Uh, yeah, well, th thank you, David Noonan. I know it's a keyboard, but it's the smallest, like, my fingers are twice the size of each key, so I'm like, beep, beep, beep. So uh, I, just got, I just gave you the Google document, guys, uh, so you can follow along. Uh, I'm also going to make this a little bit smaller, and then do a screen capture and throw that. Look at this, me being all fancy schmancy. Look at that. Boom. Um, so, guys, if you full screen, you will be able to see that in the top. And if uh, you need to cover my face like that with the, like that? Uh, the document, that'd be okay. We can do that now. Huh. <laughs> I, I think you're more than just a, <laughs> some words. All right. Uh, make sure I don't have anything bad on there. Cool. So let's do this, guys. Let's let's kind of knock out uh, some of this. We're gonna throw this over here. <gasps> what is this? Excited? Oh God! I need to st I need to turn this off. How do I turn this off? Play audio? No, we do not need to play audio <laughs> notifications every time somebody does this. <laughs> oh man! All right, this is bad. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Because that trolls and stream will make freaking Christmas carols out of notifications. <laughs> That's the last thing we need. All right, here we go. Myself? What? The streaming? I know. It just sacrifices have to be made. That's what we get for having this. All right. Let me kind of do this real fast, guys. All right. Please. Please stop writing. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right. So All right. how about you tell me the first one? Okay. I'm going to reveal the first name here. Pelican the Boozed? The boozed. <laughs> Pelican. Pelican the boozed. So we got we to talk a little bit about uh, backstory for Pelican. So Pelican uh, is one of our infamous uh, Reddit mods. Okay. And he's a great guy. I've got to hang out with him at a bunch of different... Um, bunch of different uh, dimensions. Mm -hmm. uh, he was at PAX East and South, and he's a great guy. Love him. We have actually a funny story about him maybe falling in some cold weather. <laughs> Okay. But that's okay. That's okay. So we're going to uh, we're going to make some. Um, I swear on me a moment. But yeah, I need to find out how to uh, get rid of that thing. But uh, so let's make some backstory for Pelican okay. the Boost. So, all right, with uh, with a name like Pelican, let let's tackle the Pelican part first. Uh, okay. Uh, well, like I was saying earlier, one of my concerns is that you want to keep any new hero in Gigantic from stepping on the toes of existing heroes. So already with a name like Pelican, I'm like, okay, well, how is it going to be different than Taito? Mm -hmm. uh, one good... So many birds, so little time. Exactly, right? So <laughs> so w that's something that's going to be in the back of my head this whole time is that we'll, I want Pelican... Pelican should look like a Pelican, though, yeah. but has to look different than Taito. And fortunately, Taito has no beak and Pelicans have a very prominent beak, so maybe Vinod can do something with that. Uh, one of the things that we focus on here at Gigantic, both in terms of aesthetics and in terms of gameplay, is that every hero needs to have a distinctive silhouette. And yeah. I'm sure Banan will talk more about that, but that's something that's got to be in my head, too. So, a pelican and the boozed. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's go with something kind of drunken mastery for this drunken guy. Mastery? Okay. But, but again, that brings up another point in the constellation we're going to want to stay away from. We don't want to be too close to Wu either. Yeah. So um, Pelican is going to have to be very sort of staggery and swoopy in uh, his motions and not the sort of direct strikes that you see a lot from Wu. Yeah. So, but Pelican is similarly a martial artist of some sort, and it's a Pelican, so, hmm, let me mm. think. Uh, okay. Uh, Pelicans actually have, I'm going to steal a little bit from Egyptian mythology here. Uh, Pelicans uh, were uh, kind of spirit guides and would kind of help you have safe passage through the underworld after you die. So... Let's do something with that. Okay. So our Pelican the Boozed is that sort of guide to the afterlife, but also boozed, so maybe... <laughs> maybe we take a couple wrong turns on the way. <laughs> well, no, in, in this larger Pelican culture, and let's come up with a name for that there, they're avian so they're raptor raptavian they're the raptavian within raptavian culture <laughs> raptavian spell that one right <laughs> take that twitch chat <laughs> so raptavian culture in some ways is uh kind of uh kind of egyptian in that they really make a big deal out of what happens to you after you die and it's it's invested with a lot of cultural oomph but 
unlike the Egyptians, and this is where the booze parts comes in, it is expected that when you reach a certain age, you drink yourself to death in a huge <laughs> party, an epic party. You invite all your friends, and then you proceed to drink yourself completely to death. Sounds like my 21st birthday. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is, so it's part, yeah, it, that's it. it it's part, it, part Egyptian mythology, part Logan's run at this point. Uh, and so that's what, nice. that's what Pelican the Boozed is all about. He's a spirit guide to the underworld, and in rap Octavian culture, right. they end every life with drinking themselves to death, and Pelican the Boozed is at your shoulder the moment you're drinking yourself to death, and he guides you on into the afterlife. I like it. I like it. That's going to be the first one. Nice. So I really, Jeez. really, really like that. <laughs> Throw it on a card. MTG. Let's do this. All right. So, um, and that's that's really good. So me, when I thought of Pelican the Boozed, I thought of a uh, a chunky fisherman that has, like, netting of, like, his last catch okay. all over him. Yeah. And then just super drunk, and then, like, he's supposed to go on the ships to go out and, like, catch fish, mm -hmm. but he's just so drunk he always misses the fish. Right. And he just hangs out in the dock and throws fish at people and just maybe reaches into his big... <laughs> packet of like fish uh kind of like you know how pelicans have big long beaks and stuff like that i like your idea better that's why that's why you get well, paid for this you know as as seattleites <laughs> we have a certain affinity for fish throwing that you know should be reflected in the game i like point. it so that makes sense too. i like it i like it all right let's let's uh what's up <gasps> uh make the font bigger got you all right we're gonna uh, we're gonna jump on this font and make it a quite bigger i agree shame on me here we go uh, these these are by the way fantastic notes i can't wait to see what Fanon does <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great <laughs> all right so here's the but you'll uh, be around to kind of explain your own notes oh so this is perfect no well, i'm just gonna let him go at it I'll be like just do it <laughs> just just go all right so that's pelican the booze so guys in we don't really want to get too deep in this because we want when Vinod gets on to really see these like kind of feelings this theme of the character and gotcha. just really have his own like like telephone like he like by the time it gets it gets it starts with you guys it comes to me it gets all messed up then it goes to him he tries to fix it it does a really good job and then Vinod gets like this pile of information and then he's gonna be able to draw it for you guys yeah, It'd be I, great i fully expect this to look like a Skeksis with a machine gun. Android, so <laughs> this would be perfect. There's an old 1940s, uh, 30, 50s, I don't know, Batman. He's like a sparrow with a machine gun. Like, oh. it's one of those things where it's like, who could possibly do this? This riddle. It's like a sparrow with a machine gun. I don't know. It's just old Batman. Just, I don't even know. So, okay, the next one. How about All right, you? The uh, next one is. Winley the Storm. Empress. Empress. Or. Yeah, that's that's our that's our writing right. from our. Uh, <laughs> All right, so help me out. Winley is that how you spell it? Win I win Winley. W i n l y maybe. Maybe there we go. Winley the. Well, I like I like this idea. Storm Empress. Why not? All Let's right, so for for a Storm Empress. Um, Fusro da. <laughs> <laughs> well. I think that's first of all that's that I think is the really fun thing that I immediately go to with this character is there's so much meteoro meteorological stuff you can do with the skill names and the upgrade names that you know you can up upgrade from cumulus strike to nimbus strike and stuff oh. like that I mean that would be you know, that nimbus the, strike the, the little details <laughs> of that are going to be kind of fun beyond that um I'm immediately thinking of some affinities with, uh, for starters, House de Vedra, uh, and then by extension, Zenobia, with, who has a connection to House de Vedra. And then uh, also, Trip has a lot of lightning going on, so there could be some trip winley Ooh, stuff I like going it. on too. Maybe, uh, maybe sisters? I don't know. Who who knows? We can go anywhere we, we want well, with this. Yeah, well, let, let's do that. That, uh, uh -oh. that uh, trip, trip is, uh, you know, we've suggested that trip, uh, some people believe that trip is a living incarnation of lightning. And uh, so winley could be the living incarnation of the of the typhoon. Oh, typhoon? Of, okay, okay, uh, I can, I can the, get on the board hurricane. with that. Uh, and um, so uh, that... Um, Let's have her. Nobody. She doesn't know who her parents are because she was well, found as an orphan uh, in the aftermath of a huge hurricane. She was just right, like right where the eye passed over. There's a baby there. Orphan when the story. Rest, yeah. Classic. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for the old tropes that way. Oh, but, but. She is literally born in the storm in that case, and okay. that's kind of, oh. and that's something I can work with. Yeah, um, yeah. Nice. Let's see. 
Devedra, you guys are killing me with that. <laughs> oh, Deve. I, I feel like that's the best I can do. I, you took that away from me so fast. <laughs> Devedra, just let's just let's just pretend that says Devedra. It's easier to remember how to spell it if your first name is Dave. <laughs> oh man, that just gave me the hint. Um, the uh... <laughs> Devedra. There we go. Um, nailed it. <laughs> is that how you spell Devedra? Not not per se, no. Uh, <laughs> but but that's okay. All right. Uh, the um. So beyond that, let's let's suggest some things that just as I see here, and you know, this is more of Vinod's territory. But as someone born of a storm, I would expect her look to have uh, storm-like qualities. Uh, maybe there's a, a sort of a corona of clouds around her okay. uh, okay. at any given time. That'd be cool. Uh, maybe you know, she's. I wouldn't do too much with lightning because that's Trip's thing. Mm -hmm. But she could have clouds around her and rain and. Uh, I yeah so I, I mean boy uh, you know I think the fun part for her is really the the effects uh, for her skills right she'll do yeah. some kind of rain attack that could be cool. and I uh, like it and she might have a big area attack that has like a hurricane that has an eye in it so if you're on the same team as her you want to stay close because you want to stay in the eye of Winley so to speak that'd be cool the eye of Winley I like it next Florida hurricane eye of Winley oh no <laughs> so it's funny being a um, being an anthropology major in college uh, we did a lot of things with like linguistic mm -hmm. anthropology and really names and just language in general is so indicative of what like you're talking about mm -hmm. and when I think of Winley I think of something very small like it's a very yeah. small sound name yeah. and um, I don't know if you've seen Full Metal Alchemist and I think of Winry as well right so uh, and so I instantly make that connection but uh, Winley I think of like maybe a girl standing on like a beach yeah. with like a tattered like uh, dress kind of flapping in the wind mm -hmm. but being so powerful but having all that power kind of condensed in that small little yeah. girl form so yeah, yeah. The, the other thing that's a, a good sort of pragmatic reason to name this character uh, Winley is it would be kind of weird and kind of awkward if there was an actual hurricane that wound up with the same name as our fictional hurricane yeah. character in the game and with a and because they name it A, B, C, D throughout a hurricane season, most years you won't get to W. That's true. <laughs> so Winley's safe that way. And that's and that's kinda handy. Yeah, All right, nice. nice. So, so uh, eight bit, uh, eight bit said that's awesome that you went to eight uh, school yet work at a gaming. Not that's really cool. Fine. Thank you, uh, eight bit. Um, so the first and foremost, <laughs> first and foremost, um, not getting into my story, how I got into um, uh, gaming culture and gaming studios and stuff like that. Um, it was just really kind of like a fork of the road, and I felt like it was in my heart to come here and hang out with you guys and be a part of the community. So. And here I am. So, uh, and my anthropology ma uh, teachers were kind of dicks to me too. So let's just let's just a whole other story. But I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So, uh, any more uh, talk a little bit about Winry? Let's see. Um, the, you know, we have uh, an orphan story, but I think it's important to fill in something about her adolescence, nice. and uh, and so. Uh, like an act, just as an actual hurricane is difficult to track, I I think she sort of did a lot of her sort of college backpacking years, right? Okay. And uh, and so she more so than many of the heroes is probably super well traveled because you know every place like in the it. world has bad weather, yes, yeah, true, uh, <laughs> of one kind or another. And uh, and so I think I would work that into her dialogue a lot. She's like, oh, this reminds me of, and then she'll name some mountain range that nobody else has ever been to. I like it. Uh, I like or it. that sort of thing. She's just very much a world traveler in that and you see that in her speech nice um, nice nice, nice. i know one of the inter, uh, entries was um i forget his name but it was a blank the merchant the crazed merchant ah. and i instantly think of like a guy with a big backpack just like throwing random things from different <laughs> like cultures at like a clock and yeah. just like a plate of pasta <laughs> at somebody else just be like <laughs> wow. i was like oh man hey dave's good to see you dave's another great really great friend of mine <laughs> so we got uh so he's sister of trip typhoon orphan story clouds rain wanderer um, let's, let's kind of finish her out with something else, something, uh, unique to her. I think, uh, hmm, something that's unique to her. I, I think maybe an interesting thing just kind of, and this takes it in a much more serious direction than maybe Pelican the Boozed ever was, was, <laughs> um, maybe more, maybe more so than most characters, she has a real sorrow about the destruction she leaves in her wake, whether that's the destruction on the battlefield in a gigantic match or more broadly, maybe storms follow her around now, whether she wants them to or not. And like if it. she comes to a town, that town is going to get socked with hellacious weather just within a matter of hours or days. And, 
And so she feels on both a pragmatic level and then also on a dramatic and emotional level that, you know, she can't stay in one place for long and she feels just horrible about hanging around with people she likes because disaster, uh, literal disasters follow in her wake. I like it. I like it. Can we make the, I want to make these heroes now. Yeah, <laughs> Everybody stop what you're doing. We're making these heroes. All right. All right. Let's get to the next one. Let's get to the next one. All right. All right. Here we go. We are now on to Revlar the, the Pirate, pirate King. King. Oh, we have a tie-in. What if Winley and Revlar the Pirate are like enemies? Because okay, pirates they, hate Oh, They can't be enemies all the time. Okay. Okay. There, there okay. might be times when Revlar's really glad for the tailwind that Winley provides. Okay, okay, okay. okay. But, all right, How so... How do we this? Revlar. Oh, two, man. Yeah, perfect. Revlar the pirate. Pirate king? Okay, so I think, first of all, let's do the obvious thing right away, because I think it's both obvious and, in this case, pretty interesting. Uh, Revlar is a pirate king, but he's an airship pirate, not oh, a regular pirate. Oh, yeah, uh, I like it. I like it. Because you know, apparently we have airships in our game. Nailed it. Oh, good job. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who haven't played Gigantic, every match starts on an airship that's floating above the battlefield, and you sort of descend paratrooper style onto the uh, onto the battlefield. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Revlar is an airship pirate, and mm -hmm. thinking about what that implies, uh, one of the reasons that real-world pirates were so successful is that the reason they were pirates and not just bandits is because in the age of sail, when you put when you filled up a cargo ship, that was an, a great coalescence of wealth. All the wealth was in one <laughs> convenient yeah. place, and it's one convenient mobile place if you Indeed. happen to be a pretty good pirate. And but with an airship, that's that becomes a little less important because you you're not limited to the coastline; you can go anywhere. So anywhere. So yeah. I think Revlar is not just a pirate king, but he also probably pulls off. Ocean's Eleven style heists okay. where he'll float the airship above something really valuable and he and heist. his uh, <laughs> heist heist and hype is completely different <laughs> <laughs> Ocean Eleven style hypes coming at you Revlar the King nice I and like it his ragtag crew will like rappel down from the airship and jump down from the airship and commit all kinds of audacious crimes and then poof, back up and the airship flies away. I like it. And uh, yeah, I think uh, his ragtag crew becomes really important uh, like as I'm writing uh, flavor text and other things for Revlar here, I'm absolutely using the words of his cr of his crew to describe him. Yeah, and his crew is very much in the Serenity vibe, and then you know, 15, 20 years before that, the Weatherlight vibe, and that they all have their own little stories, and they don't always get along, and they kind of argue and snark at each other, but you gotcha. know, fundamentally they're this sort of the family of convenience, nice. and uh, and so they're just going from valuable dot on the map to valuable dot nice. on the map nice. uh, nice. always just one step ahead of the law so um the sky ships were made by tesserus and when i think of uh revlar i instantly think of maybe something steampunky in him maybe uh taking technology putting it into his body maybe he got something blown off of him i don't know what yeah. do you think uh, that's gonna be more of an odd thing uh but i think that um but thinking uh, about his skill set uh i think ideally i mean Ideally, you want the skill set to involve some kind of larceny, maybe, too. Okay. That, uh, just like a pirate does, he's able to steal something from the people that he's fighting. Gotcha. And maybe that maybe it's something as straightforward as a health steal, or maybe it's something more elaborate. But, yeah, and I think, again, the silhouette is really important. And so, yeah, let's give him some kind of steampunk equipment or steampunk augmentations, uh... You know, the other thing about, that everybody knows about pirates is they have peg legs, they right? Do have, they, they they're do missing have, eyes. Yeah. You know, they, you know, very few pirates get reach retirement with all their body parts, That's right? True. One way or another. And I'm gonna, I'm absolutely letting Vanad decide which body parts. They're <laughs> but uh, uh, the, you know, that's all him. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do something with that. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Um, what's the pirate's favorite letter? R, R. You mean thinking that, but that's actually the C, because that's what I sail on. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, I don't get to use that one every day. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, Thor. Oh man, I'll be here all week. Um, 
Steampunk grappling hook. So, uh, Pyro, I was thinking of that as well. So, you know, it has to steal something. So maybe a hook that flies out. And it would be like, so when the airship is flying over something, um, they're at, like, if they want to like take it on the go, like, kind of like a hit and run kind of tactic. Yeah. Maybe a hook or something. Maybe yeah, like... I, I would make it a, like a, more like a, fi a barbed fish hook, though. And, an uh, anchor? Maybe. Oh, or an anchor, oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be uh, cool. That'd be nice. I mean, because, again, remember, we want to stay away from Roland's territory. That's true. Uh, and so... Um, it's true. So that's so that's something else that's in my mind. The other thing is, um, maybe he's got a big gaffing pole, right? One of yeah. those big spiked things that you know to, for boarding. That would be cool. That would be cool. Gaffing. Yeah, so let's talk about um, who Revlar is as a hero, though, and where did he come from? Well, you know, as you said, uh, House Tesserus uh, is they're the ones associated with airships, uh, and they've built most of the airships, but they don't have a monopoly on them. Uh, they they dominate uh, in the air, but like I said, it's not total domination. So, one way or another, uh, and I, I think Captain Reveler probably used to be in house, uh, in house Tesserus, and absconded with his airship. He's unable to get uh, official repairs, so the airship itself looks a little ragtag. He's, it you know, it's held together with bailing wire and bubble gum, but that's you know that's good enough for him and his crew and. A lot of his crew are likewise on the run, just one step ahead of somebody chasing them. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. And uh, and he's, but he's found, you know, all of these refugees that they're kind of the flotsam and jetsam of yeah. larger society. But you know, they all have a role on the oh, ship, I, and uh, like it. they all have their unique skills. And you know, this is almost becoming a sort of ensemble buddy. All right. Action movie. But I like it. I like nothing it. Nothing wrong with that. I like it. I like squid pirate hype. I don't know. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> you, I know you want to say something too. You're like, ah, oh man, we well, yeah, because I, you know, I, 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 know. I don't want to tell Vanad how to do his job, but a squid pirate would be kind of awesome. That would be. And that would be kind of. I should we just? Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll leave Vanad a little bit of a uh, little. Here we go. S, S space S Q. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it's like a Scrabble you puzzle at this point. <laughs> space. I don't know how to spell squid. I guess I do. ID. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then uh, we'll just do this. We'll just do squid. There we go. That <laughs> I don't. I don't All know right. if we can get. <laughs> we'll play hangman with that word. Right. Nailed it. We'll do it. <laughs> All right. Let's get to the next one before I make myself right. look any more uh, stupid. And finally, we have Artos the Bard. Artos. Oh, I like this one. So. Okay, Artos for Bard. Artos the Bard, um, everybody thinks of uh, video game bards as, and more broadly, fantasy bards as minstrels with lutes. Yeah. Uh, and but I want to do something different. With, yeah. Uh, and <laughs> let's talk about the bard. Okay. Uh, instead, uh, you know, if you ask people sort of outside the sort of fantasy RPG video game bubble, what they associate with bard. They'll go with Shakespeare and, and somebody non-musical. Yeah. You know, Shakespeare is the bard. Yeah. So let's go with, and maybe this is a little self-indulgent as a writer, but let's go with someone who is, like, all about the written word. He's that kind of bard, not okay. a musician. Okay. The all other right. thing is there's a pragmatic angle here in that there's lots of sound going on with Gigantic already with the overall music and all the sound effects and Mateo's the Mateo's rolling over in his grave right exactly. now. He's and like, I, this was my chance to be in the video game, and no, Newton took it from no, me. No, Mateo's through the reverse. He He's going to be scattering rose petals before me because he's like, thank you for not introducing a whole second music line into the game. So instead, uh, Artos is a bard in the Shakespearean sense. He's a writer and a chronicler of events in the world. But because the world of Gigantic is a magical place... <laughs> Got it. Nailed it. <laughs> he, because it's a magical place, it's more than just a mundane, I'm writing down historical events as they happen. He actually has the power to shape the world with his words. So he's going to be doing cool things like creating magic runes that float ahead of him and deal damage. And his attacks, he's going to attack people with words. Power to shape the world. You heard it here first. <laughs> like it. Like he's going to create these sigils and runes and fling them out at people and they have no choice but to hear them and be awestruck. So one of the, so we would get, one of the interesting things about that is we would need to give him his own visual alphabet uh, and it would be a little mundane and also a little hard to localize yeah. if we were sending capital letter A's out at people or you know different actual English letters so we 
need to give him his own alphabet. And maybe it's an alphabet where, because it's a magical place, from the get-go, the alphabet was animated. Like, every single letter was yeah. something that would move. And so you would watch a letter, and then you would, you would get meaning not just by how the letter looks, but by how the letter changes over time. Okay. And this is a ridiculously complicated language. It probably would never work in the real world, but with magic, it might work. Yeah. <laughs> and just, let's just put in magic whenever we need something to work itself out. So, <laughs> zone, uh, so Artos has his own alphabet, and he maybe he's even the inventor of this alphabet. Okay. And he's and one of the thing and his big motivation is he wants to pass along not only his stories but his words in the very literal sense uh, okay. before his life is over. Yep. And if it's an invented alphabet, well, let's see. Uh, the real world has some invented alphabets. Like Korean is fairly recent, right? It's uh, as an alphabet. Hangul is, I think, only like 500 years old or something All like right. that. And it's and that's why it's like a really well constructed alphabet because like one smart dude came yeah. up with the whole alphabet. And Armenian is the same way. It's about a thousand years older. But again, it was like in a thing where the language was really old, but then they did a very clean new alphabet for it. Okay. Uh, long after people have been speaking the language for thousands okay. of years. I like so, it. I like it. So, <laughs> so I guess my directive to Vinod would be when you come up with what these letters look like, if there's a triangle that has like Armenian and Korean as two of the corners, Artos's language should be the third corner. Okay. Uh, so let me get that around. In between... Korean and Armenian, or really just get away from more broadly, just get away from the the Roman letters. I don't know how to spell Armenian. Armenian. E N I A N. Armenian. There. Look at you. You're so. Oh uh, nope. I no. messed that up too. <laughs> oh, it, instantly. Okay. R <laughs> Armin. See, this is why you can't sound words out. Oh, my third grade teacher was horrible. All right, go for it. Go for it. E N I A N. E N. Yep. I A N. Perfect. Nailed it. There it is, boys. Right. There it is, guys. There it is. All right, Pyro, have a great day at work, bud. All right, go. So uh, getting back to Artos. Okay, mm. so his his thing is he is flinging giant magical floating letters at people. And okay. maybe if they're not all necessarily damaging, he might put a buffing letter that would just float over your head and do something nice for you as long as okay. you had the floating letter over your head. And... Uh, but a lot of them, you know, it's gigantic, right? A lot of them are going to be damaged. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right? One kind or another. But it's kind of interesting that in a weird way, you know, like the, the dot attack he has would, like, spell out dot, basically. Nice. Dam you're getting damage over time is what it would be saying in a magical language cool. over the head of the person. Or maybe, um, maybe, so just, I don't know, we, maybe they can work on this in the tech, but maybe mm -hmm. if he spelled it out, it would almost be like, he, and he sent it out, it would be like tattoos going up and down. Yeah. Like, if it was like a dot, it would spell dot, but it would be all over his skin and kind of burning into him. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. That'd be nuts. <laughs> uh, and... I don't know if we're allowed to talk about this, but we're going to talk about it anyways. So, uh, <laughs> no, uh, maybe he harnesses power from the druids? Because I know there is that uh, thing with the... You know, he he would be a logical person for tapping into the ley lines that crisscross ah. the world of Gigantic. And he, he would be a logical person that his letters and his words are tapping into that uh, inherent energy of the, of the world. And yeah. it's not... And then let's not get into too much of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's sort of the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. sort of magical physics of it all, uh, the yeah. sort of unified pretend field theory is fascinating to me, but probably beyond the scope of Artos here. Yeah. So Artos is, uh, so I think for Vinod then the, the challenge becomes, how do you take what we've so far described as a fairly ordinary human silhouette and mm -hmm. do something more interesting with it. And, we, you know, we've talked about how the letters are going to have a lot of the visual interest, but he probably should have some other stuff going on, like, uh, you know, like he's got books all over, he's got, uh, maybe he has a quill in his hand at all times and he's sketching the word out and it's forming in front of him. That's that's more of an odds territory, but that, that I think... If I were to give this concept to Vinod, I, I'd just say, well, here's your challenge. It's, you know, there's not, beyond the letters themselves, there's not a lot of unique visuals there. But, yeah. you know, he's an artist. He's nice. <laughs> that's his problem. Yeah, uh, so so his left hand maybe holds a book, his right hand a quill? Yeah. Uh, no, let's make him left-handed, though. 
All right. Left hand quill, man. Yeah. yeah. Quill, the, right. The quill on the left hand just to balance out Taito. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like where you're going with this one. No, <laughs> actually, I did the math the other day, and uh, on average, our the 16 heroes we've got can't high five each other, but they can high four and a quarter each other. All right. I like it. I <laughs> like Poor HK. Yeah. Poor <laughs> well, see, HK and Vadasi are on the extreme ends of the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> like it. I like it. I like it. All right. All right. Um, are we? I think that that's all four. That that is all four. Okay. So we we went from Pelican the Booze. We went from uh, Win Win. La, 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 how do I say her name? Winley, Winley, the Storm Empress. We have uh, now we have Revlar, the Pirate King. Arr. And then we have Artos, the Bard. Not to be confused with musical Bard, but this one is a storyteller and a historian that right. wants to shape the world with his words. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. Southpaws for the win. <laughs> nice. Don't yeah, worry. I happen to be left-handed myself, so. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look, I, the, the more you know. See, I'm finding so many things about David Noonan. I didn't know he was famous. I didn't know he was left-handed. <laughs> Tell me, Noonan. What, do, what else? What else do I know? know? I, didn't, I didn't even know you had a boy. Yeah. You, you, brought a, you brought your son to work today. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's a <laughs> early release day, so my son's sitting back there watching yeah. us on Twitch. And the funny thing is, when I'm sitting, you know, I happen to just sit right behind, uh, right back there. So mm -hmm. when the thing was starting i was had headphones on so i wouldn't see or hear anything but i did glance up just to s make sure i was off camera yeah and it dawned on me that when i'm sitting there working um you are literally eclipsing half of my family that's <laughs> that is the that is the physical presence you are bringing to this man you're <laughs> eclipsing half of the noonan family well i got to meet little noonan today absolutely charmer <laughs> going into the seventh grade going into the seventh grade oh yeah. do you remember your seventh grade noonan uh, I've, yes despite Efforts to forget it. Yeah. I, I, I'm right there with you. I read Star Wars books every single day of my seventh grade. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. You have the four. And now we're going to throw it back to the community. We're going to vote on the top four that we just went through the backstory on. Our mods in chat are going to put the vote now ish into the chat, and you guys are going to vote. So once we get this, we're going to have the top three. But not going to come on and draw our your creations with chat and really just kind of. Just make rough sketches of these three characters. And then Vinod, may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> may Lord Base Vinod come in here. And yeah. now, yeah. now after no, that. Vinod will knock these out of the park. Yeah, he's <laughs> you, absolutely you guys will be in good hands. Amazing, absolutely amazing. You know, he's already started sketching something. Cheater. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's, uh, that's just a doodle. Uh, I don't see a beak. I think it's fine. <laughs> right? <laughs> but um, so then after he does three rough sketches, we're going to vote one more time for the finalist. And after the finalist, co finalist comes on, he's really going to uh, really kind of sit down really flesh out the character and make a masterpiece for everybody that's and right. it's gonna be great it's gonna be great man i oh i loved having you want to kind of talk about just oh uh, so i've never really been able to sit down and play dnt but i need to play with the master himself the, <laughs> the lord based noonan guys you know the nice thing about dnt is it's good with anybody i'm i'm hardly a required <laughs> no you're, you're opponent. <laughs> i feel like i can't play dnt now without you though so uh, you, you ruined it you ruined me david noonan <laughs> all right absolutely amazing i want winley i want winley in the game too. I want all these characters in the game. Yeah, you know, it's the, the nice thing about Gigantic and the, one of the reasons it's it's kind of both blessing and curse to write for is because it's such a world of wonder and mystery there's just a lot of territory there and you really can make almost anything work. Uh, the curse part of it is because of that freedom you have to provide your own focus the yeah. the world doesn't focus characters into certain yeah. uh, tropes for you you have to kind of provide the focus yourself nice nice all nice, right nice. Vinod is lurking Vinod I, I think this is pretty good oh you'll be in good shape Lord base Vinod <laughs> David Noonan thank you so much guys uh, thank you take care give everybody. a big thank you for David Noonan guys we've had him twice now out of three streams what a great guy to have on stream he is just absolutely fantastic he has such a broad skill set he makes me look good he makes me look good, and I just absolutely love getting to pick his brain apart when it comes to lore. Because I know you guys like lore, I like lore, we like lore, everybody likes the lore. Let's get let's get uh, Vinod on here. Oh man, you guys are about to be Vinod. Apparently he's amazing, and it's true. It's true. All right, let me give you these, my friend. Let's get him on here. There it is. Let's put that right there. Ooh, okay. Hello, Hi. everyone. How are you doing, my friend? Pretty good. Yeah, let's, uh, first of all, let's talk about the hectic uh, schedule that we had right before the stream started. So, guys, we um, we had to get to Cintiq hooked up to XSplit, but XSplit wasn't showing us I any. need to get my pen. You need to get your pen? Yeah. Pen? At a time like this? All right, go ahead. Um, <laughs> so, 
RX and Teak wouldn't talk to XSplit correctly. It like showed it, it showed everything besides the actual white paper to draw on, and it showed everything else. And I wanted to throw my computer, and I didn't want to throw five thousand dollars worth of equipment, but I could not figure it out. Then I had, I had to uncheck something. Like usually when you want to do something, you check something. You had to uncheck it, and then it finally showed up, and we got it working. So if you guys wanted to uh, wonder why, like I was freaking out, and, like crying, and just. just tears going down my face. We finally got to figure it out like five minutes before the stream. Praise the sun. Ah, okay guys. Woo! Now, um, so we've nailed it down to four finalists. Vinod has not seen these characters at all. He hasn't heard on him. He hasn't voted on him. The only thing that he's going to see is what I tell uh, Vinod from chat and what I uh, show Vinod what we got to write down. And we'll be showing him drawing, all that kind of good stuff. Yep. I know, right? Just so good. It just He's just so good. So let's talk a little bit about you first though before we get into it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, who are you? Who's the man? Uh, I've been working, I'm Vinod Rams, I've been working here since 2012, before the game was what it is now. Gotcha. Uh, I was one of, um, let me think, maybe the 13th employee? Okay. Something like that? Lucky number 13, I guess. Yeah, so I'm 13, 15, I think I counted at one point, but, okay. um, yeah, it's been, it's been a blast. Like, nice. uh, best, best game I've worked on, best, uh, um, group of, Artists and just everybody else too. Yeah. Just, it's just an amazing place to work. Nice. I know. I when I go by your guys' little artist row, I come over there. I'm just like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's just so good. Just tell me all the secrets. It's oh. one. Of, it's one of those projects where like you do. Every time you do something and you think like you come up with something cool, the feedback is, oh, it's it's good, but can we push it further? And mm -hmm. at most companies that I've been at, the two other companies I've been at, it's been. Uh, can you pull it back? It's a little yeah. too much. Like, here we get to just play, mm -hmm. and I think you see that when you play the game, too. Like, yeah. you get the feeling that the team that's making the game is playing. Yeah. They're, they're having fun. Yeah. And I, so. I, I am so excited to show you guys the nods work. I'm so excited to have you guys sit down with them and kind of draw on stream. Big shout out to my boy Neko Bus. Good to see you on the stream, my friend. Love you, buddy. Uh, on a side note, Oh, I'm so excited. So, if you're just joining us now on stream, guys, we started off the stream with voting on the top 20 of characters. So, two days ago, we asked our Reddit, our Facebook, and our Twitter to give us ideas for names. So, the names were very simple. They were like Amani the Sniper, Jack the Boxer, things that kind of gave you an essence of the character. Mm -hmm. We had a, over 100 entries. We threw it all around the studio. We voted our top 20. So, once we got the top 20, we started the stream off. We let you guys vote. We came up with Pelican the Booze, Win Lee the Storm Empress, Revlar the Pirate King, <laughs> Artos the Bard. And Ooh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good. I like it. I like it. Very, very solid entries into the world no, of Gigantic. Uh, no boring the sword guy that's easy to draw you don't get to, you don't get to have boring the sword guy i'm sorry that is not a thing so what now we're going to do is we're going to throw it back in have the straw poll i'm not looking at the straw poll just yet we have a lot of votes and we're going to take the top three and what you're going to do is do very very quick uh not i mean it doesn't have to be too quick we can sit right. down and hang out with it but you're going to kind of just sketch the characters right and after that we're going to kind of vote one more time for the top one mm -hmm. and that's where you get to sit back relax talk to chat and really kind of go into detail with the character okay are you ready to do this? Yeah. Heck yeah, that's what I want to hear. So, uh, I know, right? There's only 63 votes. Guys, come on. What, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Are we not putting any votes into the system? What do you, what, I got to go over with that smack here? Come on, get a couple more. I have 65 votes in here, and there's 160 of you. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. There we go. We got 68. <laughs> my mother was so proud. Oh, I forgot to give my mom the stream link. Oh, you know, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Cut the stream. <laughs> Cut it. We're done. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. All right, guys. Come on. Let's get a couple more votes in there, and then we will uh, we will kind of finish this off. So, how's okay. your day going? It's almost the weekend. Good. We just had an art meeting, and uh, art meeting. yeah, those are always fun. That's where we – that's a weekly meeting. Um, we look at everything. We look at everything during the week, too, but mm -hmm. uh, it's where all, all the, the people involved get – get together look at what we're doing and make some you know big decisions you know okay. go in this direction go in that direction nice um yeah we're working on let me let me tease something uh oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> we are we're working on updating some of the two biggest elements in the game. That's that's so <laughs> simple. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> this is Lord Base Gasty in disguise. <laughs> so back at the other company I used to uh, hang out with, um, we had a developer that was yeah. infamous for leaking things, and I think we just found our uh, Gasty <laughs> right here. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. This is this is it, folks. This is what we do on stream. I and I've seen what you're talking about, and I'm like, 
Oh, it's yeah. so amazing. Cool. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Where is the love for the Pirate King? <gasps> Revlar, yeah, the Pirate King, is pirate? Just, it's just not, he's not getting that many votes. Don't, you can't look. Oh. All right. Um, guys, I, is, is it, is it? Is it the pirate? Is the pirate gun done? I don't think he can make up a. He can maybe make up a five uh, point uh, deficit. Deficit? 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 A deficit. Because that's how you use words in this English language. But it looks like we're going to give it a couple more minutes. We're yeah. going to give it two more minutes. And then we will go it. We'll lick it, stamp it, and send it out of its way. I'm a little sad that the Pirate King's not going to get out. It doesn't look it doesn't look good for the Pirate King. Oh, that would have been good. But that's okay. It's, it's going to be okay. So, all right. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys are doing okay in chat. It's been yeah. a week since we've seen you. I hope everybody's okay. Hope everybody's healthy. I hope you guys are enjoying it. We got a lot of things fun planned in the future. Uh, and I apologize, guys. It seems that you know we may not be ramping up as fast as maybe as some people want to. Maybe not in the alpha yet. Maybe uh, you're like, why? Why can't they be? I promise you guys, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. That pesky NDA can't stick around forever. Right. And we're getting really hyped around here. We're getting just nose to the grindstone. We're working hard. And it's just going to be great. It's going to be great. And yeah. E3 is kind of like... Not our coming out party, but it's like, oh yeah, where it's our sprint. From yeah, E3 yeah. to the end of the year, it's like, let's do this. And I hate running, but I'm ready to sprint. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, E3, yeah, E3 is going to be huge, and then PAX Prime will be a great event oh, for the yeah. fans. That's our home turf. Yeah. That's our home turf. That'll be easy for all the de devs to come by and Indeed. just do cool stuff with the, with the community. So. Indeed. Yeah, we're going to have people come uh, by our thing and be like, oh, who are you guys? And we're going to be like... Z Snap, this is yeah. our uh, this is our hometown. Who are you guys? Right. But anyways, <laughs> and just just to be clear, like, so Thor, how long have you been at Motiga? Ah, uh, since March since 24th. March fourth, and I've been playing this game with every iteration since it very since the very beginning. Thor came in in March, dominates me in in <laughs> playtest. Just like. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> what is? I go over and see what's in your like water bottle. Like, well, I don't understand. <laughs> it's like the Space Jam movie where yeah. it's like, what's in this water? <laughs> so, oh man. Yeah, I think I think that uh, the game is the game is really fun. Like, I, I yeah. I, yeah. I don't know how to reiterate it, but like, this working on this game is is and seeing it every day like change. Just you know. Yeah with the playtest like you know Iteration. pushing a build out every single day like that's 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 how you make uh engineer something that's super fun yeah uh yeah yeah i agree and uh let me um just for just for one more time guys if you want a little bit more information uh about what the characters are uh here is the google document to jump in this and i can't find my cursor because it's on the other screen <gasps> Go that way. there it is there it is hold on what am I doing here? Where's this cursor? Where is it? All right, guys. So if you want the Google Doc in its all of its glory, so you're not looking at it um, on a tiny little screen. I was using that for my um, my benefit control V because that's how you do it. There's the Google Docs. There's the Google Docs, guys. Sign into that one, and you'll be able to see all of our notes. All of our noty McNote notes. I don't know what that is, but it's, it sounds good. So there's our Google Docs, guys. Kind of read over it. I'll let you guys have two more minutes. We'll do it at 4.15. Uh, get all the votes. And we have 87 votes. We should be able to get to 100. There is 172 people in chat. We should get to 100. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know why I've had this voice today. I yelled at somebody. He's like, you sound Pretty like good. a Jewish New Yorker. And I'm like, I'll, I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Come on, Matty. <laughs> but no, it's been fun. It's been fun. Oh, the way he talks about it is so nice. To, we need to get you to do some temp voices. I got to do the temp voice for Uncle Sven. So. Yeah, we, we, we could. We could. I hear I hear we have some pretty good... Speaking of temp voice, look at Mateo. I see you, the sound man. There it is. I see him. <laughs> we talk about voices and the sound guy walks by. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, but yeah, so it's funny that you mentioned me coming to the studio and get to play with everybody. It's been really fun. It's really... It's, you've got to see a, I've got to see a spectrum of like player abilities. Mm -hmm. And it's... I had to like maybe bring up a couple people up to speed but right. it's fun to see like a broad spectrum of players playing right. our game and not because it's frustrating in the sense that like, you don't know what you're doing but mm -hmm. it's it's great to see people progressing and yeah. really getting better at our game and being like oh now i understand this happening and right. um and we're in alpha right now and things are changing and all that kind of shenanigans but getting to see people progress even on the studio side is just absolutely fantastic and there's been hiccups i mean it's it's the game development it's hiccups yeah. but seeing everybody kind of come together and be like this is stupidly broken and overpowered right. and then everybody kind of Right. Like, yeah, we agree, yeah. and stuff like that. So it's been fun. It's been a very, very, very interesting and exciting experience to see. Yeah. 
All right, guys, we have 88 votes. I don't know if we're going to get to 100. I just, I don't know, Twitch chat. Vote for the letter mage. The letter mage, I like it. I can, we can call cool. it. Oh, you can't, you can't tell the letter mage. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? You haven't Turns read? out I can read. I know. Stop. <laughs> don't tell him about the letter mage. He doesn't know the details. I've been reading for two or three years now. Uh, two or three? Yeah. <laughs> oh, got me beat. <laughs> No, he's drawing three characters. Vote. The top three characters will be drawn. They'll be sketched. They'll be doodled. Any, I can't think of any more words for painted. Uh, <laughs> they'll be painted live on stream, guys. The so top three. I have a question for you, Thor. Okay, but So, coming in from, like, you know, doing community stuff, mm -hmm. doing, being more of a fan of video games, yeah. to actually coming to a studio and working. Yeah. Uh, oh, now I'm getting interviewed. Oh, yeah, this is I, fun. I, just, oh. Just, a, just a curious question. <laughs> okay. Like, what is the the thing in game development that you've observed now that you didn't know about game development. Okay. So, there's, there's, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there's making of videos out now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a thing as far as, you know, back when I got into it, I didn't know anything about how video games were made or yeah. anything like that. Like, but now most studios show some d behind the scenes stuff. But mm -hmm. like now that you've been here for months now, oh. like what is something that's just like, I did not expect this. Or I did not even know this is how you do it. So uh, that's a good, that's a very very good question actually. I'm gonna give a little insight into the studio. Uh, being a community man uh, through and through, mm -hmm. um, I had a sense of the inside development team from Dawngate. I worked really closely with them. The great people over at Waystown Rip and Pieces Five ever. Um, <laughs> but I I I, I thought I knew, and right. then um, and I've heard horror stories where developers. Um, drink, uh, I, this is a very, very bad term, I don't repeat this uh, stream, but drink the Kool-Aid of their own game, where yeah. they think their game is absolutely amazing, Right. and they're like, my game is the best game ever to come out, and yeah. going to Gamescom, and going to like, eat, like packs, stuff like that, a lot of the times developers will just spew verbal garbage at uh, player base, and uh, for, I understand that as well, because mm -hmm. you gotta, you can't come to a, like, a big show and be like, our game's okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. But um, really sitting down and doing our play tests, and having Joe scream in the background obscenities, and then we get on, we have this thing called Confluence, where we kind of, after the play test, mm -hmm. we talk about like, oh, this is really crappy, this is yeah. really bad, and stuff like that, and really having our feedback coming from game developers, like, right. we like beat up our own game, like, yeah. this sucks, like, I don't know what you guys are doing, yeah. and it's refreshing, because it, like we we know that there's issues with the game, right. and we're we're intent on fixing those issues. Right. And it's not just like, oh, it's a magical pony, and yeah. it's we fine. Like we're we're really really yeah. The fact that at any given time during the day, you could go over to one of the designers, including the lead designer James, and just be like, James, that that doesn't the way the way Judo's doing blah blah blah. It's yeah. just it sucks. Like I, I hate it, yeah. and. Like, at other places, I would have, if I had that feeling about a character or, like, a, a gameplay experience, like, I wouldn't know where to put that. Yeah. Like, I could tell my my art director or something like that, and maybe he'll pass it up to change, but you just don't get a lot of that. Yeah. So, that's really refreshing. I Indeed. Think. Yep, yep, so, yep, yep. Yeah, yep. that's interesting to hear. Nice, nice, you know. nice. So, guys, uh, we're going to call it here at 90 votes. We have... Oh, it looks like Winley uh, won, won out with Winley the Storm Emp Empress. Uh, we have Artos the Bard in, in a hard second, and Pelican the Boozed at 14. And then we have Revlar the Pirate King, unfortunately, did not <laughs> get meet the uh, cut, which is uh, sad. I wanted to see. I blame Johnny Depp and uh, those uh, movies that aren't very good anymore. I wanted to see a steampunk <laughs> Pirate King, but that's okay. <laughs> so, looks like you're going to be drawing, my friend. Um, you're going to be drawing storm. Winley the Storm Empress. That sounds cool. Artos the Bard and Pelican the Booze. So we kind of made up backstories to kind of help you out okay. and give you kind of reference and points. Um, I am going to do the shenanigans real fast. I'm, gonna oh, try to <laughs> I'm like stealing your point. Yeah, I am going to let you read this. Um, oh, gosh. Where is it? Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Where is the cursor? There it is. All right. There it is. We're going to minimize this because my chat is trolling me. All right. So... What's the best way to do this? It's probably going to be here. And we're going to kind of go through this a little bit. Uh, just very, very fast. Oh, gosh. Nope. Can't give it back to me. Please. <laughs> uh, please. The moment when windows fight me. What's up? Sure. So, so while Thor, Thor is uh, doing this, I'll, I'll give you a... Fun fact about uh, Troy. Uh oh. Uh, you might not know about this. From the years uh, 1992 to 1995, he was Big Bird in uh, uh, Sesame Street. I don't know if you guys knew that. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he totally was. Yeah. Really? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I just want someone to Photoshop uh, <laughs> Troy's head on Big Bird. That's <sighs> why I said that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I know there's, there's got to be a uh, a uh, picture of Big Bird with his mask off, and you just put Troy's hat on there, and then you're done. So that's my... Ooh. I don't know. Ed. Dad Joke Cinema. Here's an idea. Can we draw Imperator Fury? Yes, I would love to draw her. That was a great movie. Oh, man. All right, so let's go back to but this. But no, we're not doing fan art of other things. So let me... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to kill this, uh, and by kill, we're going to... Revlar the Pirate King, you will always be in my heart as the character that almost got made. Uh, by the way, can you... Fi uh, so we're going to play a hangman with this? Do you uh, know what S space U space D is? I'll what? give you a hint. Yeah. It's a, f it's a five letter word. <laughs> spud? Nope, it's not spud. Think, uh, think animal. Slug? No. Slug. no. Uh, what animal... I don't know. I'm dumb. It's squid. Squid. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. So let's go ahead and go back up to the top of this. Uh-oh. David Nunes. <laughs> 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 All right. I wish. Can I send this over to you? I can send this over to you. I don't know what I'm doing in my life. Here we go. We're going to send this over to you. Wee. Wee. Oh, now he's got it. Now he can mess yeah, with but it. Yeah, but I have this full screen, so it's kind of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you read over that real fast. Okay. Um, and then I will kind of talk with chat. Tess's his brother. Oh, we should. Oh, uh, I would test his brother would be cool. So I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let uh, Vinod kind of go through that. I want to talk to Chat a little bit um, while he goes over our notes and our shenanigans with that. Um, some people had a couple questions about streaming the game and whether uh, people can stream the game and all that kind of shenanigans. Uh, so before the NDA drops, um, there's gonna be a thing called the Streamers Initiative, and I'll be making a Reddit post kind of talking about this as well. But it's our approach that uh, grassroots is very, very, very important with us. And people that have been in the community a while, people that have done great things, I mean, anything from extra life charities to 8-bit uh, uh, um, chair, oh, what's it called, a supply drop. And so we're going to be highlighting, we're going to be highlighting these kind of community members, letting them have a first chance to stream. So be on the lookout for Reddit. We're going to be uh, more detailed posts about that. Um, and we're so excited to support our streamers. I know that's going to be my job, finding great streamers, streaming our game, streaming our gameplay. And so it's on the horizon, guys. I promise. Keep, uh, keep it, keep it here. We're going to, we're going to be, uh, doing a very, 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 very ramped up stream schedule. I'm so excited. So Thor potato. Uh, did I potato? I probably did. Little Noonan. Little Noonan's running around here. I see him. He's back. He's back there. He's, he's a cutie but toady. So. Uh, I demand attention. I know. I was so, uh, Riley, I was so uh, tempted to put Thor, the Thorist, on the list, but I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. So it's going to be great. Hey, Board Brick Gamer, good to see you. One of our friends over the pond. So we got a lot of crazy things coming up, guys. So exciting. Much wow. Uh, this like, isn't Noonan's best work. What? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god, shots fired. <laughs> I was like, how do I, how do I fight this? <laughs> oh, man. Well, there it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, there, these are actually really fun ideas. So you have to understand that I was dragging him down. I was the anchor. Yeah. I would come up with an idea. He'd be like, I gotta, I, oh, this is so bad. <laughs> but no, um, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Are you ready? Are you ready to do this? Uh, yeah, let's start drawing. Okay. Um, so, let's want to start off with uh, Winry. The Storm Winley. Yeah, Winley, the Storm yeah. Empress. She was actually first. So um, I guess we can start off with her. So let's see here. Meteorologist style, lots of weather attacks. Whoa. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. So I'm going to grab your thing and switch. No, us. no lightning. Some clouds and wind, maybe. Uh. I like the idea. It could be part of Trips group. Yeah. Um, Tycoon. Yeah. All right. It's a little bit of storm from X Men, but not maybe not that um, powerful. Okay. As far as she's like a goddess almost. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So when you get a chance, let's minimize that so the stream can see all of your artists, and I will let you go to work, my friend. Oh, oh, oh I'm excited. This is the excited arms. This is <laughs> I'm excited to see you draw. Okay. Ah, oh, it's like watching paint dry, but actually exciting. Get ready to be underwhelmed. Underwhelmed. Here we go, folks. Oh, uh, uh, Winley. Let's see. This is where I get to hang out and just watch my stream. This is great. No, no you need you need to like talk well, to me. Okay, otherwise. talk to you. Talk to you, man. Talk to you. <laughs> Here's my phone. <laughs> if anyone has any like questions. Hi, this is Thor to Twitch chat. Hey, do you guys want anything in particular? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. If Go anyone ahead. has any questions, yeah, about yeah. just like art, like easy questions that I can answer about like, you know, yeah, being an that. artist and th I can answer that while I'm talking. All right, guys. So if you have any questions for Vinod, 
the Rams. I love your last name, by the way, Rams. It's so powerful. So like, my, my dad shortened it when he came came to this country. Oh, don't now you're ruining it for me. I thought no. you were literally named Do you after know Rams. The, the full I, name. I thought you're like your shield, your emblem had a big <laughs> ram on it. It's it, the full name is uh, Rama Subramanian. Rama Subramanian. Yeah, that's the full name. But he shortened it when he came here because he's smart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can take it. <laughs> He's a smart, smart man. <laughs> I like it. How did you get started in the co character concept artists? How did you get started as uh, a character? So I went to art school because um, I've always been interested in art. And then after arts, uh, in art school I went to, I was in uh, the illustration field, mm -hmm. the illustration uh, major. And uh, concept art was a thing, of course, because, you know, movies have been using concept art and video games were still, you know, this is 1990. I graduated in um, uh, 2000 from college. So, okay. you know, games were definitely a big thing, but um, no one really knew. I didn't know anything about the game industry, video games or anything like that. I didn't know how to get in or anything gotcha. like that. But um, illustration was more straightforward. I got into illustration um, pretty easily. Uh I did a portfolio of fantasy kind of sci-fi paintings, and I got my first job doing, like, RPG work Okay. Um, for uh, Wizards of the Coast, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, D&D &D magic and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, I like stuff. your shirt. I, I, this yeah, is, I got, this is it, folks. got my D&D &D shirt on. See, look at um, me. I got a theme to the stream. Uh, theme to the stream. I like it. Wrap it, tap it, and send it on its way. Yeah, I got two D&D &D people on here. Boom. Nailed it. Um, and that... That working on D and D is actually very much like concept art in a way. You end up with the final painting at the end, so that's not necessarily the focus of all concept art. So, mm -hmm. You know, concept art is about the the idea. Gotcha. Um, I like the idea. Maybe she's got because she's you know all all about wind. Um, I'm gonna be working a little slower than I usually do because I don't have like a full keyboard at my disposal. Gotcha. 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 Um, Maybe she's got like this outfit that really takes advantage. See, one thing when you're working on, sorry, I'm being scatterbrained here. No, you're fine. Um, one thing when you're working on characters is uh, for a video game, and I, I think animation for, for a movie would be the same way, is if she's a, you know, if she uses wind attacks, then what can you do in the design to really emphasize that? And, you know, well, what about something long and flowing as opposed to like how Trip looks where... Everything's yeah. kind of like, you know, just this jumpsuit. Um, so this is just like, I'm in the gest gesture stage. Um, All right. Like, coming up with some ideas. Like, you know, she's got this kind of, uh, it's almost like a poncho kind of thing. where it's like <laughs> My name is Poncho Villa, <laughs> and I've come to throw storms at you. <laughs> yes, I like it. <laughs> you know, maybe she's got like, she doesn't, it's kind of like Vadasi, she doesn't ever... Um, touch the ground because okay. she doesn't need to. Yeah. Um, so there's always this like. Of the 16 heroes we know of, what yeah. do you like most art wise? Who do you like most art wise? Uh, I don't know. That's kind of hard. I like a lot of them. I like so. I like a lot of the ones I designed. I like a lot of the ones Devin designed and Katie uh, designed um, Bombard. Mm -hmm. um, and he's one of my favorites too. I don't really. It's kind of a cop-out answer. I don't have a uh, uh, favorite. I know that when um, you guys talked about Swift a little bit last time, but mm -hmm. like uh, when Devin did Swift for his art test, yeah, that was one of those moments when you're an artist and you see that um, come come in, like you know, oh, we got the art test, and and, and here's this this Swift character, or or um, I was just like. Man, I wish I thought of that. That was one of those moments where, like, <laughs> nice. I want, I wanted to come up with that, but I just didn't. You know, he, he, nice. it's his, his thing. He's really good with those, um, very flowy lines and graceful shapes. Like yeah, Devin's kind of like signature. Yeah. yeah. Um, so definitely got some art guilt for not being able to come up with something as cool as Swift, but I'm really happy with how, um, how Vodin turned out. Vodin was a really good like in between between me and Katie. Yeah. Um, I did a drawing and, and uh, you know, something probably in some other stream we'll, we'll probably show more concept art. Mm -hmm. um, but I did a drawing and uh, Katie took that drawing, uh, started to model it and pushed it even further. So you get that kind of 
the Voden that you see in the game right now. Yeah. Um, but like, nothing got lost when she, w she when she was pushing it. Like, she pushed it to the point where, where Voden ended up becoming like, this swift character that can move really um, gracefully, but also has kind of a beast quality to him. Like, okay. he's he's like spindly and he doesn't have a lot of like muscle, mm -hmm. but he's also scary. Like a little bit, yeah. You know, if you if you imagine, like I like to when I'm when I'm painting a or when I'm coming up with a character, I like to imagine them, you know, like in the space, like like what would they look like if they were standing around next to me or whatever. Yeah. And if I think of Odin, you know, I think he's probably like if he came to our world, he'd be like what uh, eight feet tall or something. She, he's big, right? Yeah. Like he's hunched over, but he's big and like just this. You know, he'd be, like, making snorty sounds like a deer might make. And yeah. he'd be doing that chewing thing he does in game. Mm -hmm. And, like, he'd just be <laughs> kind of scary just to be in the room with that guy. Like, yeah. th I like that quality <laughs> Drop, of him. Drop Sorry. Sorry, yeah. but not so bad. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, it's funny. Um, so, we actually kind of talked about how Win uh, Winley could actually be uh, Tripp's sister. Yeah. That'd be cool. That we'll would be. Try I'd that. So, this is just me coming up with, like, some shape ideas. So, okay. right. here's one idea. Let me try something else. Um, what do you think? So, wind. She could be less action-y. Um, I could see her. So, it's good when you're drawing, when you're getting uh, just initial ideas down to keep, uh, keep things small. Don't get involved in some giant drawing that you have to, to like fight <laughs> fight with. Or end, or uh, open ended questions. Those are bad too. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my fault. Nice. Yes, feel free to to yeah. make sure I stay on track. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know, it's her author. I don't know, man. I like I like the idea of she must be like half shaved head, like <laughs> like the girls like these two. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. This one's feeling a little vadasi, but who knows? Let's see. That's one thing when you when you get a lot of characters in a, in your roster, you look at them sometimes when you're working on something new, and you're like, ah, oh, I just like remade the same <laughs> character. I just, why is this character made so many times? Yeah. So I you gotcha. gotta watch that, and especially in a game like ours, like you want people to, um, to really key into some of these characters, and you don't want them to all feel samey. Yeah. That that's it. Like you know, there are certain things that people respond to, and there's nothing wrong with. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Looking good. So this this idea is like, she's like a master of wind and clouds, almost like Son Goku or something. Like Son Goku, yeah, has riding the Nimbus cloud. Yeah, yeah, like I can dig it. I can dig it. We had some ideas. Um, Initially for Vadasi that went this route, but she ended up becoming more like she's actually just floating. Um, All right. Yeah. All right, I like it. I like it. And remember, guys, for people in chat, we're just kind of getting the base of the character done. Remember, uh, Vinod is going to, after we get the three characters kind of sketched out, uh, Vinod's going to sit down with the finalist and really kind of nail this one and really kind of uh, go all the way with it as far as details getting intricate with it right now since we have three other heroes that we need to draw we're kind of just relaxing taking our time kind of just uh sketching out what possibly could mm -hmm. so i don't want anybody in chat being like well that character's not done well of course we have three other ones to draw we got three other ones to draw but um so a good question in chat um so My what would arms you... can only move so fast right uh so somebody um somebody was like if you're an inspiring artist do you have any uh helps or tips or insight to give them yeah, I mean, I think Devin talked about it last time when you guys did the screen last week, uh, to draw a lot, and that is true. Uh, you need to put in the hours, basically. Like, I don't know, you know, there's that whole 10,000 hours um, philosophy of, like, becoming, like, really good at something. And uh, whether or not you actually buy into that, like, it's still, it's still the, the idea of it is you got to work. You got to work hard. Uh I would say for doing the stuff that I'm doing like right now is char character design type stuff is mm -hmm. um, you need to do a lot of figure drawing, a lot of drawing of naked people. <laughs> um, it's really important. You will like 
once you get the basics of drawing like the human figure, um, it's that's that's like hurdle number one that you need to to jump over because uh, can you hit delete for me? I can. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Look I'm at this. Make, I am going to make art. Nailed it. <laughs> Actually, you de you you deleted art. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> abstract art. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so so the Nimbus Cloud is one thing. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try something where she's actually on a like a full cyclone like tornado okay and you know just like another thing to, to do so you know you, you want to be a character designer or something like that so the figure drawing of course that's a no-brainer get get the hours in for for drawing the figure um another part of concept art that you don't always hear about is the the ideas like you have to don't get stuck always looking at um, video game concept art. Don't get stuck always looking at movie concept art. Like, look at other art. Look at the world around you. Like, you will be surprised, you know, if you're into science, if you're into animals. Like, you will get more ideas out of that than just, like, getting every single art of book and just digesting it. You know what's funny? That, like, little, like, tornado that you made would have took me, like, months to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I like it. I like it. So again, th I'm just coming up with forms. Like I haven't decided what her face is going to look like, what her hair is going to look like. But this is a, she's almost kind of like a monk or something, maybe okay. like an Airbender style kind of character. I like it. Um, let me uh, let me make this a little smaller. Hello, Photoshop. It scared me for a second. I know, right? Last thing we need is to uh, <laughs> for it to just just, just get destroyed. That yeah. made me really sad. <laughs> I would be a sad panda, folks. All right, all right. Look at that. I'm looking good. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So we got two down for a Winley. The Storm Empress. I like it. Oh, my God. Why isn't it? Funny? You like the first one better? The first one uh, looks a little bit more... Can you do... Um, yeah, what's up? Control D. Control... <laughs> Control the D. Yay! Nailed it. <laughs> so, um, the, the, fir first the first one I like, um, it's a strong shape. Yeah. Um, if I progressed on this further, I could really make yeah. that bell shape a thing. Yeah. You, know, you, you imagine this, like, woman with maybe a staff or whatever sh whatever she could hold with this bell-shaped oh, outfit yeah. coming at you, and it kind of tilts, almost like if you're uh, riding on a Segway or something, the way you tilt. Yeah, I can see that. And, like, when I think of Empress, I think of something very regal and, like, um, almost commands it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so. so I, def I definitely like both of them, though. We got, uh, but I the want to do a really aggressive one, too, like, uh -oh. where she's just, like... Yeah. So, or the Orphan and... Um, so Winley, uh, we we kind of thought Winley was a uh, young girl's name and orphaned uh, and no parents, so kind of small. But that's just what kind of chat was talking about. Yeah. Oh hey, that could work with this first one. Yeah. The, the lady on the tornado feels a little older. Yeah. Like that idea. Um, that would be cool, Allie. I agree. I only have to talk to I only have to talk to Allie on this. I'd be like, hey Allie, that's really cool. That's a good I that's a good idea, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> She'll hear now, it. Thor, you got to be more passive aggressive. That's a really great idea, Allie. <laughs> Keep going with those great ideas. You like it? Aggressive. Uh oh, I'm liking it. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that almost reminds me of Street Fighter Yoga Flame. Yoga oh yeah. Fire. <laughs> Yoga. <laughs> oh my god, liking it. So even, um, you know, at this stage, you don't want to get too caught up in details but I'm trying to think of interesting an interesting body type it got these two kind of skinny figures like it might be nice to get something with more mass um, especially if she's more like hello where's my okay. uh, teenager pretty cool I like that teenager there's always some room for teenager height yeah but and teenagers are annoying too oh <gasps> shots fired <laughs> so <laughs> they could be a really pesky pesky yeah. character in our game Mom, yeah. I want five dollars. Mom, I want to stay out and go to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, do you like my hair? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my hair. <laughs> hair. <laughs> For the Vedra. <laughs> nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, I'm having. Let's see. When is the uh, Fire Nation attack? That's actually a really, that's actually a really good question. We need to, we need to jira ticket that and ask everybody when when is the Fire Nation. <laughs> nice. We're just getting some lag on this other ship. Here we go. Again, I'm thinking like loose baggy clothing might be cool for her because if you really play up the wind thing, then you give you it really cool effects. Yeah, and you tell like the if that's there from the beginning of the concept, like then um, like she's got these bulbous like uh, sleeves that okay. can you know. Then you kind of have to sell the idea to to the rest of the team. Like when you explain this to your in the like the meeting I was just in, and when you explain that, like, hey, uh, if we go with this character, can we really can we really do something with the way the wind affects her clothing? And then that becomes a conversation. And then nice. if if enough people are on board, then it'll they'll make it happen. So. Uh, Jimmy, we're gonna be streaming for a while, buddy. We're not going anywhere soon. You think I'm gonna let this guy out of my sights on uh, on a stream? Nah, not now, not ever, <laughs> not ever. All right. Oh, that looks cool. I like it. Looking good. Process management. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what kind of hair she would have, so I'm not I'm not gonna worry about that right now. She looks very monkish. Yeah, so did the other one. So. Kawaii gym time. Thanks for the host, buddy. Yep. And right now, a lot of these proportions are even. So, like, one thing you end up doing with photo because of Photoshop is um, you can, once you get, like, kind of an idea going, you can uh, really, really play with those proportions. Whoa, hello. So, it's like... Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> it's not... Wizardry, that's what he did. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Th this is the, the, the reason why a lot of concept art is done digitally is because you know you can just make that decision like oh i'm gonna try this and then boop Ooh, rotrum puts a good, good uh question in chat trip is the empire's deadliest assassin what do we know about this empire oh that's a that's a really so i i kind of leaked talked about how the city is named empyrean yeah and um somebody put a little bit of uh fake not fake lore fan fiction rather not <laughs> fake lore is not a good way to describe it and they were talking and a lot of people missed the fact that the city is named empyrean so which talks about there's an empire and if there's an empire one would kind of make the connection that there has to be an emperor or empress so, right i don't know great question yeah though. we've been talking about that i can't say anything else about that i know already I don't want to get in trouble. So. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you already talked about one thing. Yeah. How are you doing, Lux? Good to see you on the stream. Ooh, looking good. I like it. Yeah, I like. I, I think I like this one too. She's still like. I'm getting mass out of her costume, but I'm not getting, like, her actual body types kind of. Just whatever. Um, but that's okay. Like maybe that. Sometimes when you're doing, uh, I've decided to go human with this character as opposed to some of our weird uh, creature characters. Mm -hmm. When you're doing a human character, you can get you can play with the body type, um, like we do, or you can get mi a lot of mileage out of the costume elements. So like, what like what I'm doing with the pants. Right? Yeah. So underneath is might be a fairly like normal car cartoon person, mm -hmm. but uh, you know the character design is is also part of the, is the costume too. Yeah, so guys, if you're just joining us now, uh, from the very beginning, uh, about two days ago, we asked the question on our Twitch, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Reddit um, for you guys to throw us ideas where the character names like Jack the Boxer or right now we're working on Winley the Empress. Uh, we had 120 entries. We voted on it in the studios, gave you guys the top 20, voted again, came up with uh, four, then had lore behind them. And then we voted again, and now Vinod is going to take the top three, do sketches like this, and then once we have three sketches of these three different heroes, you guys are going to vote one more time on the uh, last one, and then the one that wins is going to be the one that really gets fleshed out, and really gets detailed, and at the end of it, and then I'm going to pass it to the other artists and stuff like that, maybe we'll have a kit, maybe we'll have some fun things, but I think it's just a great exercise to kind of show how we are investing in the community, talking with you guys, kind of, you know, just kind of picking the brains apart of some of our great developers here. David Noonan kind of sat down with Chad a little bit earlier talking about all of the insight, all about the lore, kind of talking about it. It's just great. Absolutely great. Not an official character, just a mock-up. But who knows? If we fall in love with it, maybe we can do something. I don't right. know. I am 
I am just spitballing here, but it would be really cool. So, just kidding, talking about the Dota 2 client, Kappa. I like the idea that it, um, her wind power is so concentrated that it's like, you know, do you remember the old uh, Capcom game Strider? Yes, I do actually. When he swung his sword, it was that like swing kind of. Like, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. maybe the way she uses wind power is it, it, it like cuts like that, you know? Okay, all right. So it, it's like um, almost like a blade of. You know, you've been out on a windy day. It can hurt if it's uh, super windy. Nice. Feel like it's cutting right through you. So, nice. so here's some ideas for okay. her. All right, I like it. I think I like uh, this one and this one the best. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. Nice. Well, that's a very, very good start for our first character. Okay. And let's get a. Uh, let's. Get, will this only? Uh, will this be the only time this will be done, or will it happen again in a few months? Well, um, Corn, that's a really good question. If you like this kind of style of uh, stream, um, you know, we just came up with this idea. Throw us in Reddit chat. Be like, hey, I really like this idea on stream, something like that. I think it's cool. Getting feedback from you guys. And there's so many ways we can go about this. If we give the other artists some prep time, who knows? Maybe they can come up with some animations. Maybe they can come up with some effects. Maybe we can get a level for them. And and just kind of coming up with a community uh, meets developer kind of feedback. And I think it would be really cool because it does right. take a lot of prep time for other kind of artists. Yeah. So the animators and like when it, 3D modelers yeah. and stuff like that, it does take a little bit more prep time. And I would love for them just to be like, here, make this. But they're, they have to work on a game in their yeah. spare time. So but I think I think it would always, I have always had the idea it would be fun to do a like a series of either streams or videos mm -hmm. where we take a, a character from beginning to end, um, just have – Someone with a camera in every meeting and, and nice. over people's desks and edit it together into like a mini documentary. Like, yeah. um, that could be a lot of fun. Cool. Um, I didn't hit so delete. You hit delete, right? Yeah, I didn't delete. I just moved. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> chat was like Thor deleted it. <laughs> All right. Just to prove them, can you go back and show them that it's not gone forever? <laughs> All right. I didn't do it. You did. All right. So nice. All right, guys. Okay. Oh man, there it is. <laughs> Who is uh, the next one? Okay, um, that's a good question. I think we let's do Pelican the Boozed. He got second place. Okay. Pelican <laughs> the Boozed. <laughs> All right. So we kind of talked about how Pelican um, was a Raptorian culture. I think it was. Uh, he is a spirit guide. Um, we talked about. Here we go. Very, very good. Look at you getting onto it. Um, oh yeah, I don't, oh yeah. There it is. Okay, prominent beak, drunken mastery, martial arts. He seems very much like our. Um, like um, Kung Fu Panda type character, almost like yeah, I can like see Wu. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so where Wu is very, very uh, straight fist, like um, he is more like wavy, like ooh, like mm -hmm. drunken character monk right, almost. Right. And um, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Drink yourself to. Okay. <laughs> Artos. Artos the Bard. Yes, we do have Artos the Bard as the third one, okay. and that's gonna be fun. So he's not Bard as you're thinking. He's Word bard. Yeah, like a poet. Yeah. yeah. No, no, we. Artist the bard was second. That's okay. We'll get to him. I promise, guys. It's all right. It's all right. Everybody. That's why I love Twitch chat. They literally know everything before <laughs> I do. <laughs> so we'll get to him. Don't worry. We'll get to him. Okay. So Pelican Man. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Pelican the Boost. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know what I think? I think he's been drinking a little bit of uh, Sven's concoctions yeah that's that's uh we should have a little cracked vial of Sven's <laughs> concoction and Sven being like where did where did my vial go yeah <laughs> oh my god okay so if this was a real character for reals reals i was working on i would be of course looking at what a real pelican looks like but i'm just gonna make a guy cool um i don't have the i can't gas mask i would link you the document again but he actually has control of the pointer itself yeah. so if one of my mods in chat could scroll up grab the document and send it back in there i'd appreciate that <laughs> you don't want me to potato <laughs> and uh break everything with this thing yeah oh man i'm liking it i don't even know what it is so i like it the first thing i'm gonna do because it's a it's Definitely not a human character. I feel like. Well, you could you could just take that name and make a weird a weird dude out of it. But like, um, let's start with the obvious. Let's make a pelican and see uh -oh. what happens. So I'm kind of getting a pelican form without remembering exactly the ins and outs of what a pelican might look like. So Hotstar says, hey, any chance for Chinese or European-based characters? Um, so I know our game is trying to stray away from uh, archetypes and very stereotypical characters. Um, so our game, while we're going to take away from other pits and pieces of lore and stuff like that, um, since we're making a whole entire universe, really, uh, we kind of want to break the cliches. Uh, but that being said, uh, good night, Devil PC. Have a great night, buddy. Good to see you again, my friend. Um, that being said, if you look at... Um, 
Ashling, she definitely kind of has that European, European vibe. Yeah. Uh, European vibe to her. Her father is a ghost um, w wearing a suit of armor, and you can kind of get that European vibe from right. her. Um, Wu is a martial artist, and so very, uh, I wouldn't say Chinese-esque, but he is a martial artist. Yeah. Uh, and so... Uh, it's like that thing, you know, in fantasy design, like, you, you don't want to say, like, this guy is from China. Like, you say, this is where they're inspired, the, their inspiration draws from, like... Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pick stuff from from our own kind of uh, yeah, world. Exactly. Unless you're making a really far out sci-fi thing where everything's just like based on, you know, <laughs> dreams or something like that. We're not going that far. Gotcha. <laughs> Still want to be relatable as a, as a world. So, okay. So let me think here. Ooh, got me right in the chest. I read, I <laughs> right in the chest. <laughs> I feel like he should have um, bottles hanging around his neck, maybe. Yeah, but like that's what Sven has, so I'm, I, mean, I might be overthinking this because it's just for fun. So yeah, love some modeling or animating. Trust me, Rick and Naro, that's something I definitely want to get on uh, the plate. Um, as we're, we're kind of in crunch time right now for E3 and getting a bunch of that kind of stuff. Yep. So I have to be very careful on what developers I pick off. Uh, and not to say Vinod and Noonan aren't as important, but they just happen to have some free time and uh, were gracious enough to host us and kind of hang out with us and you know, relax. So uh, I trust me, animators and uh, Corn, uh, that's a really good idea. Um, however, there's going to be a little bit more structure in the streams, and I will definitely be getting into talking to that very soon, but you can rest assured that you will see artists, you will have them come on the stream, you will have animators, you'll mm -hmm. be able to sit down, maybe a developer, uh, developer show, yeah. and something like that. That is going to be worked into the uh, stream schedule. So excited, but we kind of just need to work, uh, really kind of put our nose to the grindstone and get everything ready to go for E3. Right. Uh, does this artist have a deviant art? I'd love to check out some of his other work. Uh, I don't have deviant art. I have um, a website, and then I have a Tumblr, Ooh. Oh. and a blog, so I got... A couple things, but no DeviantArt. I don't, somehow I didn't get on the DeviantArt thing. Uh, I think it was when it first started, I was still in just getting out of art school or maybe in art school. and Keg flight pack. Oh, no, the keg <laughs> flight. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Okay, so I'm getting somewhere now. Yeah, Lux, um, if anybody in chat, one of our mods can link uh, maybe. What is your uh, What is your website? Is it just called? Oh, uh, vinodrams.com. Nice. That's very simple. If one yeah. of our mods could do that, vinodrams.com. And then my Tumblr is vinodrams.tumblr.com. Yeah. They're nice. Awesome. 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 No worries, Gas Mask. I'm here for you guys. Keg flight pack. I like that idea. Maybe a little booster pack <laughs> made of like a six pack. <laughs> nice. I kind of want to put like a, a goofy hat that like covers his eyes up so he doesn't, he's just kind of like teetering around. Thank you, map, Axel. You know, he doesn't actually go in. Gotcha. Yeah, a pelican that delivers demon babies. <laughs> pretty good. Um, so, did you think that you will ever see a horror-based or scary type character, at least in visual design? Uh, will there be Halloween skin types uh, or other holiday skin types? Um, uh, so, oh, I'm, you know who I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of a certain thing that's amazing, but we couldn't show it off on last stream. You know oh, yeah, yeah, about yeah, 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 yeah. So, Riley Black Wolf, there is one in particular that I'll hype you up about that would fall under that uh, umbrella. Um, I do know they don't want to. Um, I don't know if we're going to be doing holiday skins as something that's kind of design based and really hasn't been broached too much. I'm sure it's been talked about. I'm not privy to that information. Um, however, I love, I love holiday skin themes as long as it makes sense of the lore inside the lore based. So, um, yeah, that's what we're kind of thinking as yeah. far as skins is keep it in the lore but still touch on some of the like fun holiday ideas make it a pter <laughs> pterodactyl oh no <laughs> oh no pop the keg boosted speed damage reduced <laughs> yeah granny is pretty horrible <laughs> oh god oh the granny hand build <laughs> that could <laughs> that could hey flame good to see you my friend oh i'm liking it i'm liking it looking good you're just so good you can just draw anything Nice. I don't know about a that. A potato dactyl. <laughs> oh. What's a potato thing? I don't get it. So, um, so going back, um, so have you ever seen that meme? This is I can count a potato. Yes. 
So taking that in the spirit of that, uh, you, a lot of times, this is not just for me as well, but when I'm gaming and I do something very bad and mess up, they're like, oh, you're such a potato. Right, right, right. <laughs> and a lot of other people get that too, but I get it a lot more than everybody else does because I'm a streamer. And <laughs> so a couple of my friends were like a potato dactyl. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Matiga is Scotch night? Oh, dude. I think every day is going. Uh, yeah, potato means bad. Or just an error. A human error. Right. Or something like that. Let's give this guy some goofy goofy hat. Ooh, I like it. Almost like a floppy wizard hat, maybe? Yeah, or just I like a the hat. Like a, when you see this, when you see someone wearing this hat, you're like, I don't know if I would trust them with my like important documents. <laughs> you know, that that type of person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he gonna have a little eye hole maybe or I don't think so. I think this guy's like okay. you know the the gag of like the, the drunk guy at the party with yeah, the lampshade on his head, like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Oh like, I like it. I like it. No man. It's hi, he's a wizard, Harry. He's a wizard. There we go, potato equals derp. That's another good one. Yeah, this character is for sure a derp. Nice. Derp storm. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I'm trying to think what would he do? Like, as far as a kit goes? Yeah, like... Um, you know, maybe a character that uh, kind of buffs people. Maybe you can pick up characters, drop them across the battlefield. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Maybe um, can, like, puke, like... <laughs> bad booze and make the ground <laughs> slippery right and um you can upgrade maybe poison one way or just like super sticky the other way um we could do some fun things uh um, the hard part with the this guy is he's he's very close to uncle sven as far as like you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy guy that has liquid stuff that sounds horrible <laughs> <laughs> he's a beer elemental <laughs> nice <laughs> rick and Naro. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking the thought you're putting into this. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Nice, 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 nice. I'm liking it. You know, uh, pelicans have the, the kind of crazy... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You're, that's flamingo, man. <laughs> they have the short, flappy flint. <laughs> told you I didn't have reference. <laughs> <laughs> that is the scariest pelican I've ever seen <laughs> in my whole entire life. <laughs> it went from cute to scary okay, instantly. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. Um, Don't worry, it's just drawing. It went from pelican <laughs> to crazy raptor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, man. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it looked good. It looked like a Velocipelican. pelican. <laughs> it looked amazing. That's this is what it's about. It's about I think I would have I made him skinny and like you know birds have that like kind of oval shaped body. Yeah, yeah. So I need to get back to that. It's looking good though. It's looking good. I like it. I mean, if you if you think the uh, the crazy legs are a thing, we can make it more historic like. I like it. It was scary. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to Big birds like that are scary. <laughs> yeah, right? oh, like you know, like you, you ever seen the footage of like people getting attacked by like a one of the like Canada geese? Yeah, they, like, yeah. How, how they run with their with their head forward? Yeah, at yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah. just like, oh uh, no. <laughs> That's funny. They're very aggressive. Pelator, so. oh no, eight foot tall pelican. <laughs> that would be scary. I would, I would maybe poop myself a little bit if I saw that coming at me in gigantic. Oh <laughs> man. Uh. <laughs> so his arms are getting weird and short, so I'm going to do a little Photoshop fun time here. Uh-oh, Photoshop fun time. Seagulls are scary. Cat dragon named Rose. I agree. And they hiss? Oh, my.